trust me, I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, it's not the hub, it's the pads. And if you're going to replace the pads with the hot racing pads, maybe think about getting brand new hubs for, for your clutch. Since I put the hot racing slipper clutch in, I have changed the chassis out, <laughs> broke it in several places, and and uh and yeah, I mean this thing is is ironclad, y'all. It's ironclad. Y'all can hear the slipper clutch working. I'm running on 4S with 120 amp ESC Hobby Star and uh, a TP power motor, and it. It is on time, y'all. Oh, that had to break something. Trash goes out tomorrow. <laughs> yep, battery come unplugged. This truck is heavily modified, heavily upgraded. I found a way to put the shock tower mount brace in the front and the back of the shock tower so this thing's ironcladded out every upgraded servo just about i've bought has let me down i i really don't like spending i really don't like spending big money on servos but this truck needs it i'm gonna get the hot like a, the hot racing steering rack and servo oh that was pretty a triple this truck's 6s capable it's 6S capable and it will take it now that I have upgraded diffs in here. Oh. It took it. That's a 60 foot jump, y'all. Oh, no dive. But I'm I'm uh I'm actually doing a long-term test for you guys, and and I lost my install footage of the uh, the Arma differential, uh, hot racing upgraded diff, and the Arma steel ring and pinion diff. So so we can kind of get an idea of how long it's going to last, which one's better. I had a comment about my. Uh, about the hot racing clutch pads is the reason I'm making this video I'm going to actually take my motor module out of the truck and we're going to take a look at the hot racing pads the stock clutch pads wear out quick you start out with a tight clutch they start working you know on each other and they wear out compressing the clutch pads I've had no issues with my clutch pads you guys none none I mean, I've had this clutch in here almost three months. I'll have to look at the video and when I released it, but I have not serviced the, the, the clutch since I put it together. So yeah, we're gonna pull that clutch apart and take a look at it. Oh, that was nice. I'm running 35 weight on my shocks. and um, front and back. And I like it a lot better than the 45 double spring setup. A lot better, a lot better than that double spring setup. You get more move, movement. Uh, it does bottom out when we jump, which I don't like, but the performance is better. All right. So I think my pin, it's actually, damn, this is perfect. This is perfect, y'all. 
<laughs> All right, so I finally had, oh, that's perfect. I either stripped the gear or um, my pinion come off. I'm thinking it's the pinion come loose. God, what a better time to take the motor. I hate to even take it out because it was working so well. But now, but now, now we have a reason to take it out. <laughs> Golly, how, how random is that, you guys? So, so yeah, we're going to take the motor mount out, take a look at what just happened, and I want to see how much dust is in there. I haven't slotted the chassis, so I'm going to slot the chassis as well. I might have I might have just killed my, my spur gear, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, all right, all right. We were out, we were out with the Creighton today, and, uh, and yeah, yeah, we, uh, <laughs> it couldn't have actually went any better. I mean, I hate for my truck to break, and I don't know what's going on with it, but <laughs> it's, it's like out of the blue. I was like, I'm going to make a video about my slipper clutch pads. Like I was saying earlier in the video, guy has some problems with his hot racing pads, so I was going to take this thing apart. To check it and I, I haven't taken this thing apart since I put those new hot racing pads in it hadn't had a reason to it's when if it's not broke don't fix it so uh, yeah it, it let loose <laughs> in this video I mean what better time to take it apart and, and you guys got to see see it happen I don't know what happened to it we're gonna find out all right so you see that no no uh no mesh there's no mesh we lost mesh let's see what's going on oh wow oh wow i got teeth so it's a tooth on something i got teeth shards in the bottom of my chassis and that's i didn't even blow it off or nothing you see that you see those teeth right there so we broke a tooth on something. Let's see what's going on here. On here. Oh, yep. Y'all seen that? Couldn't miss it. So we definitely lost teeth from something. So let's take a look at the spur real quick before we open it up. So it's looking like it might be the pinion. This spur it kind of eats pinions up but I don't even mind because I'd rather buy a pinion than a spur gear any day so this 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 spur gear is tough as hell I don't know what kind of metal they use but they did it right so uh, it's not our spur gear so it's got to be the pinion let's check it out <clears throat> so I'm whenever I open this up I'm gonna be looking for aluminum dust I'm gonna be looking for uh, if I have to take my slipper clutch apart, I'm going to look at the pads, see if there's any like uh, digging or, or gouging of the of the pads or the hub. I'm going to kind of check all that out. To be able to work and slip, uh, a clutch is made to slip and, 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 and hold a little bit of pressure on those clutch pads, but it's made to slip. And look, there's no dust in here. Look at this, y'all. Look at that, no dust. I figured there'd be at least a little bit of aluminum dust, but there's not. I mean, I drive this truck almost every evening. A whole pack every day, five days a week, I would say. Uh, it's my favorite rig. And look at that, there's no dust. Oh my God. Yep, I stand by these. I don't care, I don't care what anybody says. I stand behind these hot racing clutch pads and I see our culprit I think look at that look at that look at that pinion <laughs> oh shit look like he got in a fight with a baseball bat <laughs> look at that jeez louise but yeah the the spurs good yeah yeah you guys check it out this is my Creighton 4S uh, parts bag also this is my old parts like old parts that took off all right so that's my Creighton 4s parts bag all right this is my axial wraith parts bag 
stuff. I keep stuff that normally breaks on hand. This is my crazy success parts bag. All right, you guys getting the drift here? All right, mini reload parts bag. X Max parts bag. Let's see. Uh, Tractor four wheel drive bicycle and two wheel drive bicycle parts bag. So. <laughs> yeah, and and it kind of yeah same thing with the rest of my cars too. Uh, the K4, the Arma Typhoon and Granite. <laughs> I've got the most parts for because they break the most. Except for my K4 here. Golly, man. It, before I put this hot racing slipper pads in this thing, I was having so much trouble with my with my slipper clutch. My hubs stripping out. I'm talking about Yeah, so look, look at this. This is my this, if this gives you any idea of, of the trouble I've had, I've, and this isn't even all of them. I've made a few uh, spools like this, and I've used several of them up making these spools for the for for speed runs. But look at this. Look at that. Look. I spent a lot of money on hubs until I, until I got these hot racing clutch pads, and it solved the problem, y'all. It's not the hub. It's the pads. Trust me, I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, it's not the hub, it's the pads. And if you're going to replace the pads with the hot racing pads, maybe think about getting brand new hubs for, for your clutch. Go ahead and get new, new, new hubs and new pads. Don't use your old hubs, because if you do, you see this, you see what, how it, has the, it's kind of like a brake rotor you don't you know you can't turn these down like a brake so you want it to be smooth on smooth if you use your if you use your old hub it's going to be like sandpaper it's going to be like sandpaper and just grind those new hot racing pads you pay for all the way down gouge them out to nothing so definitely change your hubs out and I should have mentioned that in my in my uh, hot racing upgrade video. I, I didn't even think about it, but the more I think about it, I, I suggest putting new hubs on when you when you when you upgrade the clutch pads. So, yep, I went on a little rant. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna take this uh, this clutch assembly apart and, and have a closer look at the pads. Now it has been about. I checked out the uh, the date, and it was January when I put this clutch together. January, all right. So four months I've had this clutch in my truck with no issues. So before I take it apart, we're gonna just kind of give it a spin so you guys can see how how my slipper clutch is working. Uh, this this side of the clutch goes to the front of the truck. This goes to the rear wheels. So, so th as you can see, the front is loose and looser than the rear. So the rear is just like basically a limited slip, just a little slip. I'm pr I'm turning that pretty hard, and the front has a lot of slip. You see that? Now to me, it feels rough, like hard, like it's uh, like it's not smooth and like it's like smooth as silk. You know, it's it's got a little uh, almost like a grind to it, but I wouldn't even call it a grind. It's it's aluminum on aluminum, so it's gonna it's metal on metal. You know, so it's gonna be a little bit of a uh, little bit more friction than with the composite type stock pads so again that's the front wheel and the rear wheel which is a lot harder to spin and that's the way you want it and see if it's still loctited after four months of use does it need to be heated up i'm gonna heat it up because it is it's still loctited uh, any other with those stock pads the Loctite would have broke loose from all the play in the in the clutch. Uh, when those stock composite type pads, when they start to um, when they start to wear down, 
it actually thins the pads out, loosens all this whole assembly up, and works that Loctited screw right out. Now, I didn't use a backer screw for this because I was testing out the pads, and I'm not going to use a backer screw again. I want to see if I can get it to uh, perform as good as it has without the backer screw. Okay. Oh. All right, so the inner, all right, so here's our outer pad. That's the outer pad. That is the front pad, and it's got a lot of wear. You see that? Looks like it's gouged. Let's look at the, wow, yeah. So I see what you're saying uh, about the, the slipper hub and it, and it actually is very gouged but I'm gonna I'm gonna go with it I, I'm gonna go with it I want to see how long these pads will last I hated to even take this thing apart because it was working so good but I told you guys that I was so I, so here we go Sorry about the long video, you guys, but I figured it was an important topic, and I'd kind of show you guys exactly what's going on. So, sorry about the long video. All right, so we got this out. Let's check uh, this pad. All right, so our, our disc, our clutch disc, isn't gouged out because that's a steel. And, but the aluminum pad is, and that's kind of the reason why we're using aluminum it's more friction it's more friction more grab so I mean that's gonna happen on even a, a, a real car your your clutch pads will wear just like that just like that so uh, these hot racing clutch pads are doing what they're supposed to do they're doing what they're supposed to do and I still even after seeing even after seeing this I still stand behind them 100% it is gouging but I like the way my truck performs with these with these hot racing pads I mean I I I do I really do and it prolongs the life of of your slipper hub. For some reason, I I don't know what it is. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's like a limited slip, and they're not slipping uh, as much as they do with the with these composite pads, and and not. I, the composite pads are maybe making more heat because it's slipping more. The heat is uh, heating up your thread lock and the thread lock's breaking loose, you know, loosening up the clutch itself and causing it to, uh, to fail. So uh, there's not a lot you could do about this grinding other than change the pad out. But I'm going to put it together just like it was exactly like it was same pads on the same sides and everything so um, and then I'm gonna lock tight it just like I would normally and we're gonna run it so uh, that's what it looks like so um, whoever that was that commented I, I can't remember your name I do apologize but it's kind of doing the same thing to mine but not quite as bad as it did to yours. 
uh, it may be because I had uh, new hubs in the truck but I don't see I, I mean yeah it looks bad but it actually performs good for me and I swear I swear by them I swear by them I got it about the same as I had it whenever I took it out of the truck so the back is kind of tough to spin and then the front is a, a little easier see that so you got more power going to the back wheels and less to the front so I think that'll hold up for a couple more months and then I'm gonna think about getting a whole new set of hot racing clutch pads and new hubs which I already got the hubs I just need a new set of pads um, got a brand new set of hubs already but I don't think I'll go back to the stock configuration I think I'm gonna stick with the hot racing uh, I would rather replace wore out pads every six months than have to replace these hubs every couple weeks and it's less headache so like I said I, I still even after opening it up and seeing how much uh, what uh, I wouldn't say damage but wear is on the hub and clutch pads I still recommend still recommend it I'm trying to get the footage back for this whenever I took it apart I don't want to take them apart again to show you guys right now but it is possible y'all with this um, shock tower brace front and back it is possible it is front and back front and rear it is possible now listen to that differential that's the arm of differential I got up front listen to how nice that sounds and then listen to the one in the back hot racing a lot quieter that hot racing differential is a, a lot smoother than that upgraded armor differential the steel ring and pinion gear you hear that it's a lot smoother and I put it I put the same kind of grease on both of them you hear it? but I haven't had any issues whatsoever with either one of these differentials okay 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 all right all right so uh, so yeah I got my my mesh right let's see Oh, let's turn it on first, huh? <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like the video, if you like what you're seeing, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and uh, ring the bells and all that uh, good stuff. So, uh, Big B with Ironclad RC. Thank you guys for watching.